Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? Now, let's see. Now, Warner, um, now, according to reports made earlier this week, Warner Brothers Discovery has fired the director of the Diversity and Inclusion Department, Karen Horn, seemingly following the path that Disney took a few days prior when they allegedly fired LaTondra Newton, their own diversity and inclusion director. Newton claimed online that it was her unilateral decision to quit the position and was not fired as reported. Due to the confidentiality of the situation, the internet users have had to come up with theories about the firing of the two directors, with the most popular being that the companies took the decision after the backlash generated by the forced inclusion. That was the alleged reason for the massive box office failures of projects such as The Little Mermaid, where they had a black actress with natural hair, Halle Bailey, play a canonically, canonically white siren with silky red hair in the name of inclusion and representation of the black communities. Forced inclusion is a term that surged online after some people grew angry about the Recent trend in the cinema and TV industry where they portray characters of historically ignored racial backgrounds and sexualities. In the case of remakes, new season, and live action type of projects, some queer and ethnic, ethnic, ethnically diverse characters have replaced characters who used to be white and or heterosexual in their original production, which seems to be the main cause of discomfort in the public. And the alleged reason why the majority of the public is rejecting the new productions with forced inclusion. However, the two movie powerhouses have acted within their departments to stay making amends for the millions of dollars lost in recent productions. With the first step being the replacement of the directors of the diversity and inclusion departments, which was reported by Deadline, has forced inclusion made a number in the box office of multiple films? It's a question that might be difficult to find an answer to. Due to the high amount of variables in the equation, though it's fair to say that a portion of the public did not go to see the movies and series because of the forced inclusion argument. Now, I didn't see nobody complaining when whites were forced inclusion themselves in movies back in the day. I didn't see any complaints when they were doing this with historical movies that detailed a person to be black. Now, I agree that I don't like the forced inclusion or the changing of characters, how they were depicted when they first came onto the scene. To me, instead of the forced inclusion, my thing is blacks should have just created their own characters. It's so crazy how we are scared to do that because we're scared of what the other side would do to us. Instead of being trailblazers, we decide to follow the trail. So... That's the point of that's the point of it. Now, do I think that is all because of inclusion? No, I just think the movies aren't that good. <laughs> a lot of the movies that they do these like Batgirl, for instance, was terrible. The TV series was terrible. Then they did the movie. They even said it was worse. It wasn't about no inclusion, the character, this and that. Hell, people got mad at the April O'Neil in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that's finna come out. Like she's black. Oh, she's white. When the first, when the dude Easterman who created Ninja Turtles, his wife is mixed. So he made April O'Neil in the earlier comics and everything. The um, the fruition of his his um his work was black or mixed. <laughs> so people are so stupid. They just see stuff instead of doing their research. You know. And and to me, it, should they do it? I believe they shouldn't. But nowadays, they're trying to. My issue is when they do the inclusion with the black man, they make the black man homosexual, which I disagree with. Why don't you make your guy homosexual? You know, why does it got to be a homosexual guy in every damn movie? You know, but that's what they do. That's what they... Love to continue out here. But to me, the inclusion, you know, the directors of fire. Yeah, you can fire them for them forcing blacks into certain roles that were per, that were white originally. My thing is. Yes, you have a point. But second of all, 
just make the damn shows and movie good. Like, if you make the shows and movie good, <coughs> excuse me, nobody would probably have an issue with the inclusion. <coughs> excuse me. You had um, Spawn, the movie, where they made Terry, who was Al Sim, if you remember the, the, the comic book, Al Simmons' friend, Terry, was black. They made him white. But the movie was bad. If the movie would have been good, you think people would have complained if Little Mermaid, people got mad at the Little Mermaid because it was a white girl undersea and all this crap and that. I mean, look. To me, Disney's the same people who did Cinderella. The recent one in the fairy godmother was a black homosexual. So my issue is I have a problem with all these roles. Blacks need to make their own movie, make their own princess movie or prince movie instead of relying on Disney and all of that to make their character. And to me, Disney, of course, lost the fans. They lost the people who were there to support them. And that's the problem. It's not only Disney. Warner Brothers Discovery has had that problem. It's, it's, it's too much racial and colorism when it comes to everything. Now, you got some people who are stupid saying, well, what if Black Panther was white? If they made Black Panther white, then you would have had a destroyed theater. And you would have had a huge backlash. But would they have cared? No, because we're black. Because you're white, your voice is going to carry louder because... They know that they need whites to support them. And they don't care what blacks think. But to me, I, I agree with them is I have a problem with the forced inclusion in things. Now, if you, put a, if you put an actress in there where the original actress was white and made her black, but if the movie is great, I don't see the issue. I don't. If you made Black Panther the White Panther and the movie was good, you're still going to get destroyed because blacks have a problem with, how do I say? They, blacks look at, an, they look at a person and try to embed that as their savior. They vicariously, we vicariously live through our characters a lot more than whites do. Like, we'll find a character and we'll go with that character to the end of the time. When we never created the character, it was a white person who created the character. Like, people talk about Spawn, but people don't understand Spawn was black. <laughs> but it didn't matter. Whites, blacks, everybody loved the character because it was cool, it was fresh, the look was good, the, the comic books were on point. So, to me, it's a double-edged sword in this in this case that we're talking about. But did both of the directors d deserve to get fired? I mean, they were going to be fired because they needed a scapegoat, but they're not the only reason these movies are failing. These movies are failing because of agenda. It's too much agenda in these goddamn movies instead of making an actually great movie. When you actually make a great movie, it goes a long way. Instead of forcing something in a movie to make it great. It's like, who cares? Nobody cares. Like, I remember Shazam 2 came out. Fury of the Gods. And the big kid was like, well, guys, I hate, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gay. It's like, uh, and it was so lame. And, and it was so agenda pushed. Even the characters was like, oh, we know that, duh, who cares? <laughs> because it, I'm glad they did that because it's like, who cares? Why does everybody's sexuality have to be put on display? Why? Why? But when we say we're straight men or we're, we're aggressive men and we're men who are outspoken, oh, we're male toxic now. Where's the female toxic? Where's the homosexual toxic? Because there's a lot of homosexuals that are very toxic out here, especially in this day and age. But at the end of the day, I don't like the force inclusion. I like the character to be who they are. But at the same time, when you bring a character to life, if you're going to do that, make the movie good.
you know, like when they did the Moses thing back in the like back in yonder the movie where they had all white guys. <laughs> When really the Egyptians were black, you had some that were light skinned, but they were black. But the movie was good. But nobody complained. Nobody complained that passion of Christ. He was white. Nobody complained about that. White folks didn't have no problem with that, did they? When Jesus is black, <laughs> he's a Hebrew. Hebrew Israelites were black. They're the original Jews. But nobody had a problem with that. Because you know why? Because he's white. He had the blonde hair. Nobody was mad. But you're mad about a damn character named Starfire. <laughs> and you're mad about a character in Batwoman. I mean, Batgirl or Batwoman, whatever she is. Come on, man. Let's, let's stop, stop this bullshit. We, we got to grow up. You guys have done it for a long time. Now that we're doing it, it's a problem now. And that, that's what I'm saying. If, if you didn't have a problem with Passion of Christ being depicted wrong, if you haven't had a problem with April O'Neil being depicted wrong, then what's the point? We've got to stop with this selective outrage or this selective being pissed off. The reason Disney and Warner Brothers Discovery was losing is because they make bad movies. When you make a good movie or great movie, they will come support it. That's just the point. That's the point. So thank you guys for listening, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this, and hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you go to the description box. You could donate um, to my Cash App. The link is there. Or you can go to my Zelle. Type that number that's in the description box to, my, to the Zelle, and you could donate there as well. So thank you guys, man, for your love and blessings. This is the DZ Report signing off. Peace.